The Active Directory Recycle Bin works the same way as any other recycle bin, except for it allows us to delete and restore users and other objects. I'm going to go to Tools and go to Active Directory Administrative Center. The objects that you'll be able to delete and restore are all Active Directory related. So a user, a group, a computer, a printer, all those different types of objects can be deleted and then added back in if needed. And by default, this is turned off. So I'm going to select the domain itself. And on the right hand side, you see the option to enable the recycle bin. Now, I need to make sure that all domain controllers are online before you click to enable. Otherwise, you'll receive an error. So I choose to click to enable the recycle bin. I'll click OK because it cannot be disabled afterwards. And now we can see that it has been enabled. It's possible one of the reasons why it's not enabled by default is because it could be a security issue. You could have someone go in and undelete a user who has administrator rights and then go ahead and log in as that user and make changes without possibly being noticed. So now I'm going to refresh the screen and we should see a new folder that shows up that says deleted objects. And there's my deleted objects. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete an object and I'm going to go ahead and restore it. So here's all my different users in the users folder. I've created a user called test one, which you can see at the bottom. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete that user. Click yes. The user is now gone. I'll go back into my domain, go to deleted objects, and there's that user called test1. Now I'm going to choose to restore. I can also choose to restore two, and I can change the folder or organizational unit where they go. But in my case, I'm just going to choose to restore the original location just by clicking on restore. And now I'll go to my domain once again, users, and we should see test1 showing back up. And there's test1. Without enabling the recycle bin, it could be very difficult to restore a user or an object that has been deleted. It's not impossible, but in my career, I found that it's hit and miss when you try to use some of the different commands to restore objects. This is how we enable the recycle bin, delete users, and re-add them back in the Active Directory domain.